Welcome back. And today we're going to look at how Onshape can create a custom drawing template. Now, as you've worked on isometric sketches and multi-view sketches, you know that parts must be described in a drawing as well as a 3D virtual file. Well, we can create those drawings in Onshape, but before you start those, you'll need a template to make sure that you can effectively create all of the shapes as a drawing in a way that can be read by your teacher and fellow students and even future engineers. First, we'll go to Create and Document. And I'm going to call this Template and click OK. Now we've worked in the workspace for the 3D editor, but we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to come down to the plus sign and we're going to select Create a Drawing. Now we have several options here, but none of these really fit what we need. We're going to have to create a custom template. We want to make sure that it isn't ANSI. This is an engineering standard. We want to make sure we're adhering to this standard. We're going to continue in English. Now we're going to use size A. Size A is about an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper. There are a variety of sizes all, all the way up to drafting sheets that we really don't need to get into. Our units will stay in inches, and we'll use periods instead of commas. In the United States, we use a period to denote a decimal. Around the world, they occasionally use commas. Third angle is correct. We would still stay with include, and we'll change our horizontal zones to four and our vertical zones to four. We'll make sure our start zones are bottom, but our title block will be removed. Make sure you click do not include on the title block. We're gonna create our own. Double check all of your settings, make sure they're correct, and click OK. This is our drawing sheet. In the future, you'll select a part from this dialog box, but for now, we're not going to. I'm gonna click the X button here to close that. Here we have our insert view window. Again, we'll use this in the future with 3D objects, but for now, we're not gonna be worried about it. The piece we need to add is a table. Find the table button, click here, then we'll give us the option of rows and columns. Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. We need three columns. So select under column, type three, and you should see three columns and two, or excuse me, three columns and two rows. I'm going to place this down here. Under the select fixed corner, make sure we select the bottom left corner. I need to select the shape so that we can move it. I'll click my check dialog box to confirm. I want to grab the darkened corner and move it down here until it snaps in position. Now this isn't quite large enough for us, so we need to stretch it. I'm going to extend this all the way across until it meets the edge, and we want it to line up with the side. This is the basic appearance of your dialog sheet. Now we're going to add some details into each one of these so we'll be able to use this for submission in the future. I'm going to double click in the first column or in our first cell and I'm going to type in in all capital letters name followed by a colon. Now I'm going to come to this tool here insert drawing property. Since I have name in all capitals I'll select this and I want to select my name so not just the drawing name but who was it drawn by? It'll insert my name. Below that, I'll double click on the cell and I want to type in, in all capital letters, the word date, followed by a colon. Again, I'll select my insert drawing property and a drawing date drawn and select the check mark. So this is the name of the person who created the drawing and the day the drawing was created. This is not the day the part was created, but the day the drawing was created. From here, I want to select the second cell by double clicking. And I want to type in title followed by a colon. I do want to make sure it's still all capital letters. I want to select this piece, the Insert Sheet Reference Property tool. Now this tool will let me give the part name that I'm using. I'll select Name. 
Here you see a series of dots. This is because we haven't selected a part yet, but when you do add one, it will automatically populate to this cell. Now click the green check mark. Down here, I'll double click, and I want to type in drawing, again in all capital letters, followed by a colon. I want to select drawing name. Now this is the name of the file. In this case, it's named drawing one. I'll just click the check mark. Whenever you change this name for the file, it'll automatically change here. Now these two cells will be related directly to you. If I double click, I'm going to type in my school. You should type in the name of your school here. Below that, the class period. So again, in all capital letters, I'll type in class period followed by a colon, and I want to type in one for first period. If you're in second period, you'll type in two, and so forth and so on. Then I'll click the green check mark. Now that I have my template set up, I have to make sure I save it correctly. So I'm going to come down to where I have drawing one. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select export. From export, I have a few options I need to make sure I have correctly selected. Instead of drawing one, I'm going to call this custom a template. This is a custom template, size A. And this will help us remember this is our template and not just a drawing. Under format, make sure you select DWT for drawing template. We're not concerned about the version and we want to leave this as export as text. Make sure under options you have download and store in file, store file in a new tab. If you don't have this selected, it will not save the template. Next, I'll click export. It should give you a notification that it's being prepared for an export and you should receive a notification. We'll wait until I see down here I have a exported file. I'm going to come back down to the plus sign. Select plus and I'm going to look at create drawing just like we did before. Now this time instead of just clicking custom template I'm going to go down to created by me and it's retrieving, retrieving templates. Here I see the template that I created. For all future assignments, when you use a drawing file, you'll need to start with this template, and then you'll duplicate it before you use it. This is how you create your drawing template for each assignment during the course.